There are an increasing number of applications that depend on processing large amounts of video. For example, recent work at SIGGRAPH has explored synthesis of ODS video for virtual reality from many high-resolution video streams, building smarter tools for video editing through semantic video analysis, making compelling video summaries like hyperlapses using dense motion estimation, and extracting 3D content like human pose from hundreds of videos. Additionally, more video datasets are becoming available in a world instrumented with cameras, like millions of unlabeled YouTube videos and millions of labeled action clips. And there's an increasing need for tools that support visual data mining of these terabyte scale video datasets. However, building applications that efficiently manipulate big video data at the scale of large clusters is quite challenging. In response, we built Scanner, a platform that makes it easy to write scalable, big video data applications like these. Scanner structures video processing applications as data flow graphs, and from these high-level abstractions, Scanner can provide it high-throughput access to video frame data, as well as schedule it onto parallel machines, such as a big desktop computer, or large clusters of CPUs, GPUs, and media processing accelerators. For example, let's say I want to make a summary of a feature-length film, like a thumbnail for each shot. First, I define a scanner computation graph for extracting color histograms from every frame of the video. Then, using those histograms, the application performs shot detection to produce the final montage. When I run this application on my desktop with four GPUs using the latest X-Men movie, Scanner parallelizes processing of all 250,000 frames across each GPU, and three minutes later, out comes the montage. Now here's a few more complex examples on larger datasets that we've implemented using Scanner. First, we accelerated video-based, markerless human pose reconstruction in Scanner. We use the algorithm from Ju et al. 2017, which is highly compute intensive, requiring massively parallel analysis of 480 simultaneous video streams. The previous state-of-the-art implementation took seven hours to reconstruct 40 seconds of video using four GPUs. The scanner implementation, however, used the same kernels, but efficient data flow graph scheduling reduced the total runtime by 60% on the same machine. This implementation also easily scaled to a cluster of 200 GPUs, ultimately taking only 25 minutes, or 6% of the time, to reconstruct the same sequence, approaching real-time pose reconstruction. Second, we have used Scanner to scale visual data mining to very large datasets. Scanner is currently being used as the compute engine for a project to mine 70,000 hours of American TV news footage, seeking insights into how portrayals of individuals and events can differ across networks and over time. The dataset is 20 terabytes of compressed video, or 6 quadrillion pixels, but using a cluster of 6,000 CPU cores in the cloud, we were able to segment every video into shots in just under a day using Scanner. While shot segmentation required us to compute color histograms for all 12 billion video frames, we've also used Scanner for sparse operations, like detecting faces in a single frame from every shot. Scanner enabled us to do this without having to decode the entire video or export all the frames as separate images. With this metadata, we can start to explore the videos for situations like all three-person panels, or people with one hand in the air. Lastly, we implemented the Facebook Surround 360 VR Video Synthesis Pipeline in Scanner. This application is a 44-stage scanner computation graph that fuses 14 streams of 4K video. The existing implementation cannot scale past one machine and takes five hours to synthesize a minute of VR video. However, because scanner can parallelize not just between videos but within videos, the scanner implementation of the same pipeline could use 256 cores spread across eight machines, synthesizing one minute of footage in only 16 minutes of wall clock time. So again, further scaling could permit real-time synthesis of VR video. To learn more about the design and implementation of Scanner, please see our paper for details. Thank you.